I guess it was little easier for me than most people because I got married into the business. So I just fell into the family business, uh, so to speak. So uh, you know the teething problems that I guess a lot of uh, new people who join auto industry those were slightly lesser for me because I had somebody to mentor me. Male dominated, yes, auto advertising is really male dominated, but there is no embargo against uh, women in the in this industry. I think women have uh, the proportion might not be as much as we'd like it to be, but there is you know, a representation of women also in the industry. Women are so used to multitasking. You know, whether we are at home or at work, it's never we are doing one thing. It's always you doing five, six things. So I think that way we can multitask in multiverses if, if that's even uh, you know a word I can use that are more empathetic women tend to uh, give the other person I think the benefit of the doubt also creatively and storytelling wise I think women because of their approach to life I think they are more creative in that sense to men so yeah women do bring in a lot to the table in that way Uh, yes, while there are a handful of women in the top position, I would wish and hope that uh, there would be more. Uh, basically, we need to be uh, more understanding and I think have more empathy towards uh, the fact that, uh, you know, now, now people can say, oh, you're being uh, gender biased. No, I'm not being gender biased. Women have more responsibilities than men. Let's just be honest about it. If you take my stuff itself, they cook in the house in the morning, come to work, go back home and work again. So you have to have some compassion when it comes to that. I think women should be given a little leeway, a little understanding in terms of the hours they work. Because like you know, outdoor industry is crazy, crazy working hours. It's not just, uh, it's intergalactic working hours. I mean, there have been days where I work three days in a row, barely sleeping two hours because I have a launch going on. But I have seen that women tend to, to put in more hard work tend to be more resilient and tend to have better solutions because I think women kind of, like I said before, put themselves in the other person's shoe. So if we could just have little empathy towards women working in the office, you know, give them a good working environment. We do have women in the industry who've been there forever, you know, get them as mentors on board have seminars and conferences where you give these women you know a platform where they can talk about their journey talk to other women in the industry or even men for that matter of how solutions can be brought to certain problems you know that a woman might face or might not face i mean we have it in other industries where women are giving these speeches i don't know why outdoor can't do that i think that would go a long way because women need mentors i myself have mentored so many women in my life mm. and even though they have moved away from my company believe me every time they meet me it is so warm and nice and and i can see the appreciation in their eyes and i think from a woman to a woman that is my greatest achievement in auto i also had a woman who helped me in this life at that time i was pretty new in the industry i think it went a long way for me having said that i've had a lot of male mentors also in this industry who actually uh, have been very empathetic. You know, I think we need more of that. Men understanding women and women understanding women. You know, we're not competing against each other. We're all in the same industry. Mm -hmm.